another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back with quick hits. Uh, some big news to get into. I want to address the rumors. Canelo and Big Charlo. Um, more likely than um, Canelo going to fight the, the big cruiserweight for um, no apparent reason. Uh, that's what multiple sources have reported. That's what ESPN has reported. That's Steven Espinosa of Showtime has confirmed that as well. Um, so it looks like we may finally get Canelo versus uh, Big Charlo, um, which is good. Um, this is a, a great fight. It, it, it's uh, uh, we're gonna get into it. But before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow uh, 3D Boxing on all forms of social media. Uh, quick hits comes at you every day, eight ten minutes a day to keep you up to date on the latest greatest boxing news and rumors. Please follow us. Also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. It's near and dear to our heart. Um, let's get into um, let, let's get into the fight a little bit. I want to break it down a little bit. Um, well, we'll do a little backstory first. So, um, you know, Charlo has was in line for this fight at 160. Um, he was the mandatory for Char uh, for for Triple G. Triple G lost to Canelo. He was in line for the Canelo fight when Canelo beat Triple G. Um, it didn't happen. It never came off. Um, the WBC belt that Charlo wears now was won by Canelo when Canelo beat Triple G. Um, but the fight never came off. Um, Canelo was moved to the ridiculous franchise designation, the franchise champion that WBC has. And uh, Charlo was elevated um, to you know, world champion status. Um, then Canelo, you know, went to 75 and fought Kovalev. He fought... Uh, he unified all the belts at 68, and he's been at 68 since, um, leaving Charlo out in the cold. Charlo has always operated just on the outside of boxing's most elite fighter, right? Right outside that top 10 pound-for-pound pound list. Um, he's that, that big payday that he won with Jacobson, he won with Canelo, he won with Glufkin, has always just been out of his reach, just, you know, just out at, of... At, at, just out of sight for, for Charlo. He may find it looks like it looks like at 31, he'll be almost 32. He may finally get this opportunity. He may get this fight. Um, it, and it looks more likely than it's not going to happen. Um, and I, I want to be fair. I, I want to get into it <clears throat> a little bit. Um, this is going to be a good fight. It's not going to be what we saw with Plant and, and Billy Joe. Um, nor is it really going to be what we see with Caleb Smith. Um, Charlo. He's good. He, he's going to take the fight to Canelo. He's not going to be off the back foot running from Canelo, which I said was the wrong thing to do, right? You're not going to beat Canelo by running from him for 12 rounds. That's not going to happen, okay? He's too good. He's too skilled. He's going to get on the inside. You're going to slow down, and when he does, he's going to stop. You. He's going to beat you up. <coughs> Canelo's <coughs> going to punch you in the arms. Punch you in the body. He's just going to break you down, slow you down. You cannot run from him for 12 rounds. Now, you can't beat him on the inside either. But like I said, what Plant was doing. Look, Plant was losing rounds, winning some rounds. Billy Joe said it was mostly losing rounds. You're not going to beat him that way. It's not going to happen. I don't know the recipe to beat him. He's the best fighter in the world right now. Right? It's like, you know, it's like prime Kobe. What are you going to do to beat Kobe? Man, nothing. He's better than you. But, um... You know, how do you beat the Golden, the, you know, the, the Golden State Warriors with, with, with Clay and Durant and, and, and those guys, right? I, I don't know. That team's better than you. They're probably going to beat you. But what you don't do is get into a shootout with them. <clears throat> what you don't do is run from Canelo for 12 rounds because he's eventually going to break you down. Charlo's not going to do that, okay? Charlo's key to victory in this fight is in the mid-range, okay? He's not good enough. He doesn't have a probing jab like, you know, Floyd Mayweather – or, or, you know, Vladimir Klitschko, right? He, he's not that. His jab 
is used to set up everything else. He's got to use the jab because um, the, the jab is just a, a device for him to throw other things, right? It's a timing mechanism. It, it's not – he's not looking to really score and do damage with it, right? He's not looking to win rounds with his jab the way, some, the way Billy Joe and Caleb Plant are. Um, so his – He's not good enough on the back foot from the outside. That's not going to be with it. He's going to have to fight him on the inside. He's going to have to bring the fight to him. There'll be times where I bet Canelo is going back, which, which we didn't see with Plant and Saunders, right? Um, Cholo is the quintessential boxer puncher, um, and he's really good at it. He's got good power. He, he throws lots of lead hooks and quick right hands. Okay. You're not going to beat Canelo on the inside. He's too skilled on the inside. So if you fight him from the outside, he's going to break you down and break you down. If you get on the inside, he's just better than you. Okay, that's not fighting to his strength, which he will do. Charlo will not be afraid to fight Canelo in the trenches. What he's got to do, what he's got to win the fight is in that mid-range, right? So he's going to have to use his jab, right? He's going to have to use it, but his jab's not, it's not Billy Jones, it's not Caleb Plant. You know, he's going to have, have to use it with a plan. Okay, he can't – Canelo's too good to jab against without a plan if you're Charlo. So he's going to have to jab off a happy, right? He's going to have to set traps for him, right? He's going to have to walk him into stuff um, and, and set – you know, and when he catches him – get Canelo coming in, he's going to have to catch him with the power shots, right? So jab him, you know, mess with his timing, play with distances, Um Bring him in, and when, when you bait him in, is when you got to land. Land with the power shots. Charles not good enough to win this fight over twelve rounds. Um, so I don't think he can win seven rounds. That means he's gonna have to drop him or stop him. Um, look, it's a different fight, and it's a good fight. I think it's a more entertaining fight than we saw with Saunders and um and, and Plant. And he's not going to run, so I actually think that gives him a better chance to go 12 rounds. That being said, it's I, I don't think it's going to be enough. There was a time maybe three years ago when I thought Canelo, Charlo might be the right recipe. Charlo might have it. Charlo, Charlo might be the right guy. He's a boxing puncher. He can mix it up. He can jab with him. He can keep him at bay. He's still longer, taller fighter. Um, and he's good. he can be aggressive. He can make him back up. He can make him uncomfortable. Canelo's just too good. Canelo's eventually going to break him down. Canelo's going to get on the inside. Charles not going to be able to execute for 12 rounds. I think this is a good fight. Um, but again, I, I just think Canelo is on a level right by himself. And I, I, I think, you know, Charlo has moments. Charlo lands. Charlo, you know, maybe swells up his face, you know, Canelo's face and, and, and does things like that. And he makes Canelo dig deeper than we've seen him have to dig since the Triple G fight. But it's just not going to be enough. Um, I, I think Canelo wins rounds. He's, he's the better boxer, right? He can make. He's going to make Charlo miss. He's going to get inside. He's going to do do his damage, and he's going to constantly slip that jab. Slip, because again, Charlo's jab is good. It's not world class. It's not you know, one of the best jabs, right? It's not. He, Charlo can't win rounds on just the jab. Um, I, I think it's a more act, high pace fight. Fight, um, but you know, in, in, the result's not going to be much different. Canelo's going to get in, wear him down, break him down, bust him up. And I, I say the fight goes to distance. I'll say, you know, I, I'll do a more in-depth analysis of it. Um, like I said, Canelo, Charles' key to victory is in, is in that mid-range. Um, setting traps, walking Canelo, uh, walking Canelo. Canelo's so bright and he's so sharp and they're so smart. Um, you know, Charles will have some success. He's just not going to have enough to win the fight. Uh, that's my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, 3D Boxing comes at you every day with quick hits, 8-10 minutes a day. Please subscribe to the other channel as well, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.